Guys, I have some really exciting news for you. MTech and PhD admissions are now open. Attractive scholarships are also available for eligible students. Interested students can apply using the link given in description. Hello guys, welcome to another brand new episode of Quarantine Tech Talk. I'm your host Divya. If you guys are watching this series for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For today's discussion, we have a very interesting topic that is home automation. For the discussion, we have Anjana with us. She is a double degree PhD student at Amruta Center for Wireless Networks and Application and Bridge University, Amsterdam. Also, she did her master's from Amruta WNA. Let us start this session with a very basic question that is, what exactly is a smart home? Thank you, Divya, for your introduction. Hi, everyone. In this episode, I would like to give an overview about the concept of smart home which is also known as home automation system. Before going to Divya's question, I would like to ask you something. Do you know what all devices in your life can connect to internet? Yes, we think of computers and smartphones, but not just that. We can connect speakers, alarms, doorbells, door locks, cameras, and even cooking appliances. And what do you feel if those devices accept your commands and act accordingly? It's kind of fiction, right? But not. The technology behind is called Internet of Things, which is the key component of home automation system. Now let's address Divya's question. In early 20th century, a smart home is described as a home incorporating communication networks that connects different electrical appliances and services and allow them to be remotely monitored, controlled or accessed. The integration of sensors and autonomous decision-making capability to those systems will take the smart home to a next level. With all these technologies, still the vendors are working to address the complexity and security concerns of such systems. Other than the convenience, energy efficiency and the security provided by the smart home, they can also help the most vulnerables in the society. Like those devices, some of those devices can give alarms if an elderly person fails to take pills or fall over or behaving outside their normal routine. If you are looking into the history of home automation system, in 1620, Jerebel invented a chicken incubator and a mercury thermostat to maintain a constant temperature in the incubator. And in 1898, Nikola Tesla invented a first remote controller. Later on, different appliances like vacuum cleaners are invented, but in 1968, the first true home automation device was invented by a Westinghouse engineer, Jim Sutherland, in 1966, which is called Echo 4. ECHO4 is an acronym for Electronic Computing Home Operator, which allows the user to create shopping list and turn and turn off the appliances and control the temperature in their home. And in 1969, a kitchen operator was invented and which allows the users to create recipes. But unfortunately, those devices are not becoming a commercial success due to its price. In 1971, the development of microcontroller reduces the cost of electric devices and makes the technologies more accessible. So a lot more technologies are added to this sector in 1990s and later in 2000 is marked by the rapid increase in the popularity of smart home technologies. Yeah, that was a great introduction. We did not know that uh, smart homes existed in the early 70s also. Can you give us some insights on the current available home uh, automation technologies in the market? Yes, Divya. There are a lot of smart home products are available in the market. In fact, they are doubling in numbers very quickly. Let's see some of them. We can start with the smart assistants. First one is Amazon Alexa, which is an AI-enabled virtual assistant developed by Amazon. And the second one is a Google Assistant, which is also an AI-powered virtual assistant developed by Google. 
there are different smart hubs are available where we can connect different smart devices like wing hub 2 and samsung smart things hub apple home kit and lot more there then we can look into the smart speaker like amazon echo 2 which works with amazon alexa to play your favorite music to order food to turn on your tv and to make calls and to make messages another category is to create a smart ambience we can use philips hue bulbs to control the light intensity and color of the light and tp link hs 200 switches that can be used to control the switching action of the devices irrespective whether the physical switch is whether is on or off then the other category is echo b4 Echo B4 is a thermostat which, use, which enables the user to control the temperature through voice commands. Another category of smart home devices is smart security camera. The Netgear Allo Q can be used to record high quality audio and video in a pitch blackness. And it can also be customized to record automatically when we are not in the home or it can be scheduled for a time based recording when we go for work in the category of smart cooking appliances we have perfect bake pro which is a device it allows the user to input the food items they have and it generate the recipes based on the food items then we have digital smoker with smart chef technology which is basically a grilling device that will allows the user to monitor the monitor the state of the meat inside the grill from their devices there are some smart tvs like smart lg tv which allows the user to stream the netflix kind of online streaming platforms and to connect the video boxes all in one place and some and some smart tvs enables the user to control via voice can we build a smart home by ourselves yes divya we can customize and design it very quickly let me give you some tips while designing your own smart home as in the architecture we can see a home need some sensors actuators and a controller for controlling this and a communication module to communicate so the controllers can be a raspberry pi or an arduino or a nord mcu module and the sensors can be chosen with our requirement like a, it's like a PR sensor or a light LDR sensor, temperature or gas sensors. Similar to the our requirement, we can choose the actuators like alarms or relays. Then we need a communication module. So while choosing the communication module, first of all, we need to know about the home automation protocol. There are three kinds of protocol like wired, wireless and hybrid protocols. We all love wireless technology, so, so we use the wireless protocols as Zigbee, Z-Wave and Bluetooth Low Energy. If you are ready to push the smart home boundaries with the available product, you need to have a working knowledge in wireless standards. This technology enables the devices to talk to each other and to a Wi-Fi router. We live in an exciting era of technology, so our homes are just a tap away through our smartphone. Yeah, thank you Anjana for giving us information on home automation. Uh, thank you viewers for listening to us so patiently. If you have any doubts regarding this session, you can connect to our team and uh, before leaving, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more interesting videos on Quarantine Tech Talk. Guys, I have some really exciting news for you. MDEC and PhD admissions are now open. Attractive scholarships are also available for eligible students. Interested students can apply using the link given in description. <laughs>